Okay, let's uh, put our, our phones away. Our phones away. And laptops. And laptops and whatever else we've got around. So, that was a bit of a fire hose this morning, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not on any sort of a downward slope, even though it's Thursday afternoon. We got lots to do, lots to do, miles to go before we sleep, as they say. And one of those miles that we have to go is about communicating the value of virtuoso. <coughs> Needless to say, you spent the whole morning looking at the value that it uh, can bring to you and through it the value to your clients, but certainly well beyond virtuoso.com. It is a question that we do get and it can be a tricky one to answer. So how many have actually had to put some words around what is virtuoso? Yeah, okay. Well, it's a little, it's a little tricky, isn't it? It's a little tricky. <coughs> So we're going to, um, again, we're going to put some language uh, around what is virtuoso. <clears throat> but let's start with a little brainstorm here. Um, so what is virtuoso? And see if we can capture some, uh, some ideas that might be helpful so that you can come up with a, you know, a couple of sentences that are going to quickly kind of explain essentially what it is, and then if you need to dig deeper, you can dig deeper with it. So, is this a network or would you? Yeah. Okay, a network, definitely a word that could be used. Like on their homepage, network of the world's best travel advisors. Okay, all right, all right, yeah. Buying so power. Buying power, yeah. right? It's, it's actually 22.5 billion worth of buying power. Right, okay. Yeah. Massive. Yeah. If you would have, if you watched the uh, introduction to Virtuoso module. <laughs> Busted! Yeah, yeah. No, it was back in the 82. 82 or something like that when API, uh, which was the forerunner to it, and then it became Virtuoso in 2000. <coughs> so it was called API for years. Yeah. And Allied Percival Allied International. Allied Percival International. Yeah. Uh, well, it was a much simpler version, and the yeah. the the. The original formation of it was around, essentially around on-sites. Yeah. And there were like 10 or 15 original agencies, uh, most of whom uh, were uh, European, had, uh, had uh, strong family ties, you know, or were immigrants themselves from Switzerland and France and Italy and England and so on. And these <coughs> uh, 10, 15, uh, agencies <coughs> who did a lot of business, obviously, for clients uh, back to Europe, created their own little special connections, uh, kind of personal connections that they had in these different countries. And then, <coughs> having gotten to know each other a little bit, we're like, well, why don't we, let's kind of band together um, so that what you know in Switzerland, you're willi willing, to, willing to share, and what you know in France, you're willing to share. <coughs> And so it really became sort of the foundational idea of Virtuoso, uh, then um, a API, or the, it, that was the allied part of it. And then um, <coughs> Matthew <coughs> Upchurch's father, Jesse Upchurch, owned uh, a tour company called uh, Percival, Percival Tour Tours. And they uh, specialized, I think, in particular in Africa. And um, and so th those two came together and it became Allied Percival. So the API uh, came together. And then, and then it started you know, really mushrooming uh, from there, you know, bringing together a, a network of partners uh, and a network of agencies um, under the umbrella of this private organization called API. 
And so they would, they would um, agree to do certain things, like everybody had to have a fax machine. <laughs> <coughs> that was a very big deal. Yes. That was a very big deal. Well, the, the telex machine, which preceded that, yes. right. I know, I know the old telex machines, right. Do you remember yes. <coughs> Yes, and it was all the thermal paper and all that sort of stuff. But you couldn't be a virtuoso agency unless even kicking and screaming, you got a fax machine. So then that's how some of the communication happened. And then sometime after that, um, I think the, the, the marketing aspect of virtuoso uh, came in uh, with the, what is now virtuoso life. You know, there was a, um, a magazine that showcased uh, the different partners and so on that we had that uh, required, again, that these individual agencies actually shared their mailing lists. At the end of the day, the only thing that you've got to sell is your mailing list, all right? So that was a big leap of faith to um, say, yeah, okay, we'll put them all together in virtual, so going, scouts honor, you know, we're not going to do anything with this um, other than, you know, disseminate information uh, to, your, to your clients in a, in a more efficient way. And so that was a big leap that took place. And then, you know, and then it became virtuoso. Um, and since 2000, you know, or since the late 90s, certainly since 2000, it's just, <laughs> exploded, you know, on the, <coughs> on the partner side of things, on the agency side of things, on the training side of things. Training professional development has been a huge growth during the 11 years that I've been there in particular. Uh, it was just kind of at the very beginning of things about, um, you know, 10, 11 years ago that the very first training modules and we had a platform, you know, an LMS, a learning management system, uh, that is now the Travel Academy. So a lot of things have happened uh, over those years. So I digress here, but yeah. You know, uh, I would mention the kind of embedded or scrub. Yeah, right, right, right. Suppliers. Right. So these are, we have not only vetted partners, but vetted agencies. So there's, it's invitation only. It's invitation only. That's right. Yeah. And isn't it the top two percent agencies in the world? <coughs> I'm something not like something that. like that. Yeah, it's like the top one two percent. Yeah. Um, I'm not exactly sure what that is. Um, of agencies worldwide. Um, is mm -hmm. are you aware that it says like anywhere specifically how we should answer this contact question? Like there, I mean, th we, we have some things on um, virtual, so I think about in the, maybe in the um, PR mm -hmm. section. Where is that, Jay? The way it kind of gives a def definition of virtual, so. It's, uh, there's this really obscure tab at the top that says about virtual, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that Thanks one. That. Yeah. So that's, so there is something of a definition, but what we're looking to <coughs> ha help you with this afternoon yeah is for you to really put that into your own words. Yeah. That's okay. You know, That's the so things that, that, that <coughs> yeah. I mean, even math, you can't give you a cut and dry uh, definition because it kind of depends on who you're talking to and what's going on. But yeah, so it is, uh, it's a network. It's uh, certainly got buying power um, <coughs> that, you know, for, 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 a, for a particular client, 22 and a half billion dollars worth of uh, buying power could mean a lot. To somebody else, it, that might not mean anything. <laughs> you know, there's 20,000 um, plus uh, uh, advisors around the world. We're in 11 countries. I 13. 13 countries. <laughs> it's changing all the time. Changing all the time. <coughs> changing all when, the time, as Matthew would say. by two today, yeah. <coughs> So 13, you know, uh, countries all over the world. 
Um, so again, all of that might mean something when you're talking to somebody. What else? When you think about virtuoso, what else are some of the things? The source of uh, information. Yes, yes, a source. <coughs> source of knowledge and information. Mm -hmm. I have used the word consortium, mm -hmm. but I, I liked in, in the beginning how we have exclusive um, hotels and just exclusive partners right. that are not available. Right, to right, other right. Consortium. Right. Or networks. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and in some cases, um, uh, the, the exclusivity of it. Um, it just simply not available through other, you know, through other, channels. other channels. Yeah. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. <coughs> you know the amenities, those perks and privileges out there. Amenities, um, um, perks, privileges. Training. Right. So when you're thinking about this um, <coughs> uh, and, and what this might look like uh, in explaining this, you know, this, uh, I think another one is worldwide. You know, we're kind of talking about these, these things here. It's easy to, um, you know, it's easy for us to get kind of centric around, you know, around the United States but, uh, and Canada, but a worldwide, it's certainly a worldwide network. network. I think consortia, doesn't mean much to um, a consumer, necessarily. A network <coughs> maybe does a little bit more so, yeah, or, or collection, uh, or something like that. Collection's a good, can be a good word. <coughs> Anything else that you have used or heard used or think might make sense? So what is virtuoso? It's a, you know, it's a, pardon me? Luxury level of service, right? Yeah, so there's a lot of different ways that you can describe it. I think one of the things to think about is <coughs> what is it and what does that, what does that mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you know, when, you're, when you're thinking about putting down a definition, you know, what is it and what does that actually mean to whoever it is that you're talking to. <coughs> so that might be another way to kind of approach this. Yeah, Cindy. Uh, do you have another example of a virtual show in another industry that consumers might be more familiar with? I was trying to come up with one and got crickets. Um, wood, wood decorating one? Well, where, where it's this sort of uh, a, a by invitation or um, <coughs> and <coughs> Kind of a closed community, um, you know, kind of private. Like the black card? Yeah. yeah. O only we don't want to <laughs> compare ourselves <laughs> to American Express. Right. No. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Valerie. But isn't it kind of like how in the United States you have like these premium concierge medical services? Hmm, okay. Yeah. Right. And you get, you know, extra care and all of these other things that you may not get otherwise. Right. So I think about it like in a, I think about a scale mall in our area, like where not just in store mm -hmm. <coughs> you know, can be can be mall. there. They have to be right. You know, they have to keep a certain uh, a certain level of service and mm -hmm. of offerings available. But mm -hmm. I don't know, that is a tough one. Mm -hmm. so yeah, I, I don't, don't know if it's like necessarily <coughs> Yeah, it's like a it, it's like a collection of hotel or restaurants that have uh, Michelin stars. We're sort of the Michelin starred uh, travel agencies of the of the world. That's I like that. Yeah, yeah. So this kind of vetted this invitation only. Yeah. Elite might work for you. Yeah. Yeah. So it is unique, right? 
So a lot of good words here uh, that we can um, wordsmith here. Um, the however it is that you want to kind of put this all together. <coughs> so let's take a few minutes, as we have been doing these last couple of days, and um, put together a draft. Put together a draft of... Do you, do you think there's a handout in your binder? There might be. <laughs> That's right. By now, you even know to go to day four. Yeah, yeah. So let's take five, six minutes, get that first draft down, and then we'll, we'll actually ask uh, Matthew. Uh, he'll come back and <coughs> on film here, and he'll talk to us a little bit about what, what he sees in all of this. About a minute.
Sheriff's table? Yeah, that first. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> okay, well, you kind of know the drill now, don't you? Yes. All right. So this is a great one for stealing. poaching <laughs> and stealing other people's ideas. Okay? <coughs> because you're not you're not wedded to this in a particular way. This is about virtuoso. So if somebody's got a great little turn of phrase or a wonderful little Hmm. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. You know, uh, share with each other. Okay. And again, Go be good critics uh, of each other. Give, give each other good feedback on things. What works, what doesn't work. Okay? So, at your table. An elite collection of collection of the travel industry's highest rated vending organization, utilizing an enormous buying power to demand the best experience and VIP service in the world. Read it again. <laughs> An elite collection of the travel industry's highest rated and vetted organizations utilizing an enormous buying power to command the best experiences and VIP service worldwide. Great. Basically, she says what it is and what, it, what you get from it. What it is and what is the benefit. That was really good. Yeah? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Okay. So is a worldwide that allows me to offer you. Yeah. And I think in the group that's also large, including all the important things that our clients want to know. Sounds good. Okay. Sir. What is this? So, right. I'll, I'll go. Um, that could. Um, so that could. Um, 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 you could and almost maybe just get rid of consortium and call yeah. it a network so and then say this network yeah. of the so world's yeah. or what just say um, a what does it mean? yeah you know I don't how would you do that how would you do that without using the word network twice but yeah I just think consortium is a tough one yeah 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 uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, although it's not like, you know, you're not going to fail on Friday if you use that word. No. Shannon? Right. 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 They want to know a wealth of how is my experience going to be improved? Mm -hmm. Exactly. The worldwide. No, I'm 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 struggling with the word information. It's a unique it on your worldwide on your network. Yeah, right. A worldwide network of the best travel advisors, maybe. I just feel like information, yeah, because information, as we said, is sort of a dime a dozen. So that doesn't sound, you know, if you use that word, it doesn't sound like it's very unique at that point in time. A unique worldwide network to assist travel advisors. Good. Yeah, been all worldwide, a unique worldwide okay, network good. to assist Get travel advisors. Get some good advisors. ideas from each this, other. Yeah. This good. Okay, network. Now do a redraft then. 
Have you have you asked the question? This network you is know, only not available for a certain percentage of lead travel you, advisors, Mr. Customer, to assist their clients and their travel planning. Yeah. No. What does it? Because let's let's assume that you know I'm a a, a potential client, and I go, well, well, what is virtuoso? Okay. Well, virtuoso is that. And here's what it might mean to you. It's because that's a very important aspect of this. Is that's all well and good that it's a, you know, elite network and buying power and X, Y, and Z. How does that translate to me? Because I think that and that there too, it doesn't have to be like a great big deal. But what does that actually mean to the customer themselves? Why virtuoso? Why being part of virtuoso is a uh, is to their benefit? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. If you need to try a rewrite. We have Christoph's coming at three. Is that yes? Is it, okay, and then at four is uh, Jennifer. Jennifer, who? From Prospex. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Okay. So getting all this stuff wound up here on the front end will be good. All right, maybe maybe ready to share some. Yeah, let's hear what somebody's got yeah. to say here. Who wants to share? <coughs> Who wants to share, Sandy? I'll share, Jay. <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, everybody. So let's hear. Uh, we're gonna l listen in on on different tables to hear what somebody's got to say here. Virtuoso is an elite collection of the travel industry's highest rated and vetted organizations utilizing our enormous buying power to command the best experiences and VIP service worldwide. Okay. <laughs> so I'm saying, you know, like. And it's not too long. It's not too long. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And if they want to know more, then they'll, they'll ask more. Yeah. yeah. So it's like one of these little elevator things. It's like, what can I, what can I quickly say that helps people understand? Okay, that oh, okay, it's some, so it's this sort of elite collection of, yeah. you know, vetted. And they're like, and well, they're vetted. vetted. What does that mean? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Highest rated. Good. I love it. I love it. Uh, who over here? This table. Lori. Lori. Lori's our our writer. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the uh, the only thing that I might add is that somehow, sort of, that your your agency actually belongs to this somehow, because uh, my first impression, anyway, is that it sounds like this is all about the suppliers, and that you want to make sure that you recognize that the agencies are also, um, uh, and that your agency belongs to this. 
uh, by invitation only. They were invited, your agency was invited to be a part of Virtual Soul. So that, you might want to uh, bring that into the <coughs> picture as well. Yeah, great. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, uh, let's see, Shintra. Shintra. Shanda, Shanda and Sintra is Shintra. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll, that'll, and, and your clientele, and we were talking over here that uh, um, Valerie was saying, my clients don't care about 22.5 billion. Yours do. Yep. Right, 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 yeah. So it's, it depends on who you're talking to when you might pull out different things. You might modify things, yeah, absolutely. How about back here at, the, uh, at your table? Angela? Virtuoso is a leading luxury travel network by working with Hindu and Taiwo traders to collect and embed expert travel partners. Okay. Short and to the point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just say that again because it was short and to the point. Virtuoso is a leading luxury travel network by working with Hindu and Taiwo traders to collect and embed expert travel partners. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we can go for that, we can go for that. <laughs> yeah, good. Who else back here at this table? Uh, Debbie? Uh, <coughs> Virtuoso is a bi-institutional luxury organization that is directly vetted agents and institutional suppliers that are financially stable. It is by institutional, oh, sorry, that is by the, um, I'm sorry, Virtuoso is a luxury organization that is directly vetted agents and institutional suppliers that are Ooh, I like that. I like that last sentence in particular. I'll say the last sentence is carefully curated. The carefully curated partnership can store a unique and custom travel experience. Yeah, Ooh, yeah. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Uh, Nora. Uh, yes. Um, we're a member of the invite only virtuoso group, the world's leading that's a group network of elite suppliers, partners, and professionally trained advisors. With our incredible buying power, we provide exclusive amenities, access, and support to our clients worldwide. Ooh, I like that too. It's very, that's a very good one. That's a very good one. You know, this, this word access is a pretty big deal yes. <coughs> because that's one of the things that our clients are looking for is access, the kinds of things that others can't get. Debbie. Like a concierge, you pay like yeah. A certain amount of money and right. Then you get X number of. Mm -hmm. So how is that? Is that a competitor? How's it different? Yeah, how do you sell virtual? So if somebody says to you, "Oh, I'm already doing this." Laundry list. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Laundry list. Yeah. Laundry list. Yeah. Yeah. Also, with yeah. all these, whatever is Amex, Signature, Inspirado, any of it, just go yeah. online and try to compare Inspirado to, and you'll get sound bites from that. Because none of them. Yeah, yeah, it, it is. It, I think it, I think what you're referring to is is it called Inspirata? Yeah, they yeah. Apples and oranges. You can put Amex or Signature in a. Well, I think there may be other. There are. There, there yeah. are these Fire. kind of clubs, you know, yeah. kind of an a, a private yeah. access <coughs> yeah. that have different kinds of, uh, yeah. Yeah. you know, d different yeah. different kinds of networks. Yeah. Um, Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's obvious that the Four Seasons is part of. Mm -hmm. Or at least they have access to the Four Seasons. Yeah. 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 yeah.
Yeah, I'm not sure how all of those work, okay. but that having a good comparison because some of those things, and I think <coughs> a, a comparison that you uh, would very much want to do, talk, and again, talk with your agency owners. Um, the one that you'll come up against the most is American <coughs> Express. <coughs> That's the one that you'll come up against the most. You know, well, I have my platinum card, okay. you know, my black card, whatever. Um, why would I do this when I can get it over here? Be so because the other ones you have to pay to join. Right. Right. Like I mean, like kind of make that commitment. Right. Where this is just, I mean, you travel when you want, when you want on your own. Right. Not. Right. So that so that might be one of those little points, <coughs> okay. you know, okay. um, along the way. Okay. And uh, yeah, yeah. But Right. Year, mm -hmm. $5,000, and that includes what is a little interesting because he said that includes unlimited trips. However, my clients are so busy that they might take one trip a year. Mm -hmm. So I only have to plan one trip, and mm -hmm. my fees are $5,000. Mm -hmm. So if you're charging $5,000, you're technically almost. But she doesn't charge any planning fees, she just charges, charges a, an annual fees. retainer. So yeah. 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 <laughs> and so what she does is she she created her own membership base. Right. In mm -hmm. that, so she'll say, all right, and she uses Wanderlist. So mm -hmm. in the Wanderlist, what are the two or three destinations we want to go to? And they might say, oh, we want to go here, there, there. But she says, in reality, they only get to They're only going to get to one, because maybe two in a choice. year. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right, right, right. So that's, that's yeah. how she's using it. I have, yeah. uh, and, and speaking of Wanderlist, I have emailed all of you a link to a Wanderlist information page, so all of the details, the fees, and all of that is in there, uh, in uh -huh. that email, along with uh, a PDF that talks about all of Virtuoso services, so rather than sending out uh, a PowerPoint that will just be un really, you won't know enough about the details, uh, it, it has like the recap of all Virtuoso agency services in there, and so you'll have that in that email as well. Great, great, great. Good, good. Well, how about this? <coughs> how about we listen to what Matthew's got to say? And see if, uh, now, one of the things that you will notice is that Matthew has, between Monday and today, grown a mustache. <laughs> well, hi, everybody, and I hope you're enjoying your VCTA class. You know, one of the obvious number one questions I always get is, you know, how do I explain virtuoso? Now, for those of you that don't know me well, um, I've been doing this a long time and hopefully with age I'm getting a little bit more concise. Um, but I have to say that, you know, sometimes it is a challenge to explain that and I know you've just gone through an exercise of, of doing that for yourselves. But I think it really comes down to a couple of things. Number one is like, what is it? And then what's the benefit? So from a, what is it? I really like to lead with the fact that it's a by invitation membership organization that your agency belongs to. And by being part of this, this global entity, um, you have collective buying power. Um, we vet the most amazing travel providers in the world with whom we have personal relationships that absolutely make a difference in the way they experience travel. And you also have the buying power to make sure that you can compete and have all kinds of abilities to provide perks and prices and value that otherwise they can't get themselves. Then you can get into all the specifics about we're 347 agencies and you know by the time you see this who knows what the number will be. Uh, nearly 9,000 advisors in 20 countries around the world. Of course we're, we're adding more countries as it goes so I do recommend that you keep up with it on virtuoso.com. But really focus on really focus on what's in it for the customer, um, and probably what I would also say is that one of the reasons this is not always such an easy answer is because you really need to kind of understand your client and kind of figure out what's important to them. But I'll tell you this: everybody today knows, particularly the kind of sophisticated, well-educated, well-traveled customer that you're trying to serve that there's no way that you can know everything about everywhere. 
So today, professionals are judged not only by their own knowledge, but also by their networks, by their personal and professional networks. So I hope that helps you out, and uh, good luck with all your endeavors, and thank you for taking the time to increase your professionalism through the VCTA program. Great. Thank you, Matthew. So he had a couple of good ideas, uh, aside from his mustache, which thankfully is gone. Yeah. Um, so what were a couple of things that you heard him say that, uh, that caught your eye? The by invitation. Yeah, this by invitation. Right. The collective buying power. Talking about these... Um, uh, the providers, he didn't call them suppliers, right. yeah. mm -hmm. he didn't call them vendors, yeah. he called them um, uh, providers, travel providers, with whom we have personal relationships. Mm -hmm. um, a transcript of that, yeah. Well, I got a bunch of little, little notes on here. Um, the collective buying power that provides perks prices, value, yes. access, um, and then like he says, then, you know, if you, if you need to, you can get into the dollars, the numbers, the, the this and the that, and you know, where things are located. Um, <coughs> it's a membership organization, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. you know, um, which is a, a, it's a, that's a pretty big deal. Mm -hmm. That's something that people can understand, a by invitation um, membership organization and uh, that your agency belongs to. That was another a little element to this, or that you belong to, you know, <coughs> as uh, uh, out there. And... Um, talk about you can't know everything, but you have right. to professionals. Yes, really yeah, good. yeah, kind of as an aside, you know, we can't know everything, mm -hmm. uh, and we never will know everything, but we are judged by our networks out there, our personal net networks and our professional networks. So there's some, some good little bits and pieces there that you might want to, you know, <coughs> add into that conversation uh, that you have. Because uh, again, you're going to have it. And you may also want to be thinking in terms of how do I express that, other than the corporate, you know, uh, piece, how do I express it on my website? You know, because that is a bullet point that you are a member of Virtuoso. Right. Um, and that does have power throughout the world. <coughs> it certainly has power in North America and Canada. Uh, and increasingly uh, throughout the rest of the world. Uh, Latin America, Australia, um, uh, beginning to have an impact in Asia and in Europe uh, as well. So, yeah. Good, good. Okay. You feel good about that? Yes. All right, all right. Good, good. That's, uh, that's, that's the point here. Angela, we need you. We got, a, we got some low energy. I think, I think Angela needs herself right now. She can crawl out of her chair. Let's get people up and get, get, some, get some blood flowing here. Yeah. You go right ahead. Backhand me, you know, whatever. Okay, make sure you have plenty of space. Okay. Ooh, we got some warrior poses going on. Complicated. Exhale everything out. On your inhale, 
down, flip your foot palm to the sky, reach slightly forward, reverse your warrior. Breathing through the side body. Everything out. One more inhale. Exhale. Side angle. Arm comes to your side. Reach your right hand to the sky. Gaze up. One more big breath in. This right hand. Open mouth, side out. And inhale. Eyes up and out. Right, we always have to do the second side, don't we? Big breath in. Exhale, open up, warriors. Push to the side. Inhale again. Everything out. Inhale, flip your front palm to the sky. Reach forward, reverse your warrior. Fill up your lungs. Everything out. One more inhale. Exhale, forearm comes to your side, reach up towards the sky. <laughs> Don't anybody tip over. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Yeah, it does help the little energy here, doesn't it, a little bit? Whoops, careful. Careful, careful. Good. Yeah, that was perfect. That was I just, perfect. Uh, I just posted that to Instagram and tagged uh, the Aqualina. Namaste. <laughs> Namaste. <laughs> shimmy, shimmy. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. All righty. Okay. So, at three o'clock, um, uh, Christoph is going to come for a visit. So we're going to have a little time with uh, to talk with Christoph. And at four o'clock, our host for this evening, or our guest for this evening. Uh, is going to be uh, coming and will be talking talking with us about uh, what's it called? Guy? Approach guides. guides. Approach guides. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Approach guides, which means that we've got a little over an hour to do some maybe some of the most important work that you need to get done this week, and that is <coughs> to start building a plan. So we have layered one thing on top <coughs> of another, and I hope this sort of going to use an old term, uh, the whole Dagwood sandwich here, you know, of a little pastrami, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, you know, some veggies, some cheese, you know, so on, so on, so on, so on. As we've kept layering these things on about uh, relationships, <coughs> um, uh, layering things on about the collaborative travel planning process that's out there uh, for us, uh, layering things on about marketing uh, and our branding. Uh, layering on top of that, the things that we need to uh, uh, think in terms of, in, uh, of as resources. There's actually one thing that we, that we didn't uh, uh, do, which I want to add to a list over here, is additional resources. Because yes, Virtuoso's got a lot of resources, but there's other resources out there too. And I'd like for us to, you know, share, we don't have to do this right now, but, um, uh, I think additional resources in the industry, hmm. uh, whether it's magazines or uh, news feeds or um, podcasts or whatever, whatever else might be out there, that would be a good thing for us to, uh, to think about. But right now, you started thinking in terms of what do I need to be doing come Monday morning and over the next 
You've all got different ways that you organize yourselves into projects. But looking at one or two big projects that are probably sitting out there over the next one, two, three months uh, for you to be um, uh, engaging yourself in. So there's a couple different ways that we can, that we can approach this. But, but the, the key here is that um, this is some time for you to spend specifically developing your own plan. What is it that's <coughs> up for you uh, going forward here? Um, it might be around branding and marketing. This was just sort of an example here. Um, how they're going to remember you. Marketing is communicating and then building a plan along the, along the way here. I mean, that's, these are just all the different things that might be part of a, a branding and marketing plan. Yeah. Sure, sure, yeah. It, it, it's actually in your binder. Is it in our binder? It's in your binder. Oh, yeah, okay. it's, uh, it's, it's probably one of the last ones for day four, but it's in there. So all that information is there. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The other thing, so, so this is going to be, you're going to have about an hour here to really spend some time getting it down as to what it is that you want to be doing next. Now, like I say, many of you have your own ways of, of project management. Mm -hmm. But what you are going to need to do is identify a couple of different projects and look at why is this project important. And if I fulfill on this project, what are the implications? What are the results that I'm looking for? Now, one way to do that for those, if you, if you don't have your own plan, is um, to look at it in terms of 30, 60, and 90 days. You know, so that you break it down into smaller pieces that you can build on and build on so that by the end of 90 days, you've accomplished it. Um, or maybe you do it in a, in a 30 day or in a 60 day, but you break it down in any, in, in any event. So looking at that, looking at what your priorities are, what are the goals, what are some milestones that are going to tell you that you've achieved a certain thing, some benchmarks? Um, looking at the resources that you're going to need in order to actually make that happen. Um, and, then, uh, the, the, and then be able to review on all of this around these as well. So here's an example that Jay, Jay and I kind of put together to help you. And this is the worksheet that you have, yeah. this 30, 60, 90 yeah. uh, day <coughs> worksheet. The way to approach something like this is to, first off, look at what is it and why is this important. Right. So identify what the project is. So um, my, my goal is to increase my database by 100 names. OK? Just making this up. Why is this important? And does it align with my why? OK? Because your why always comes back into this. Building a pipeline to reduce the gap between travelers, okay? And if I've achieved this, what's the best possible outcome for me? Well, it's a pipeline that's going to make me money and it's going to save me time, all right? So you've identified what it is, why it's important, what the results would be. The next step in doing this, pro this kind of a project is to prioritize your tasks and resources. And the first thing is to just brainstorm all of the tasks everything that you're going to need to do. Now, don't even worry about putting it in order. Um, you know, to get 100 new names on my list, maybe I look at my holiday list. I look at you know, any kind of uh, lead generation programs that might be out there. Uh, an announcement letter that I'm going to send out to all of those, those spheres of influence. Um, I'm going to zero in uh, with uh, one thing for my clients, uh, potential clients, another thing for ambassadors. I need to actually get the names and emails. Some of those names that you wrote down the other day, well, you're actually going to have to get the emails, you know, or get the, get the addresses. Um, social media, if that's part of your, your, uh, your process here. Uh, subscriptions, that might be important that you want to send out to some of these top uh, clients. Um, uh, gathering that, that, um, that postcard that says, you know, uh, as a gift to you is a year's subscription to Virtual Soul Life, my compliments. So you might want to get that sort of thing together. 
um, any other marketing ingredients th that you have from Virtuoso or that you create on your own. And uh, uh, along with that, you might have a, a stay in touch plan, you know, for these hundred names that you're going to add to it. None of this is in any particular order. This is just a big brainstorm. Then you need to start plotting it out. First, in order to reach that goal, first thing that I need to do is go through my holiday list. Uh, I need to get that new announcement letter. I need to refine that sphere of influence. It was all over the map the other day. Um, I need to talk to my owner manager about subscriptions um, and what they cost and what my investment might be. Might be. Uh, having done that, it, by, the, by 60 days, a couple months in, um, I may, maybe there's some training. Maybe there's a um, training with Wanderlist that you want to get involved in. Send out that announcement. Research. Sign up names. Uh, gather ideas for uh, 12 months of marketing. Um, validate my client base profiles. Okay? <coughs> in fact, getting them into client base might have been over here. And then by the, by the end of it, at 90 days, now we're ready to launch that, you know, that campaign uh, and launch those subscriptions and calendar the dates for my key marketing, whatever else might be a part of that. Does that make, make sense? Yeah. And again, some of you have your own project management kinds of uh, formats. That's fine. But this is a time for you to sit still, be quiet. You can even go into the other room if you want to. Come Monday morning, you're going to be really happy you've spent some time. Yeah. Uh, and had some time to actually do this. Okay? So are there some ideas, maybe, yeah. of, of things that people are thinking about yeah. that, oh gosh, here's a project I want to undertake. Anybody got some ideas uh, in mind right now? Scott, what's on, on your mind? Well, we've got to get our, um, our website together. Okay, so, so your website is a priority. That may be one of your big projects right. out there. Got it. Um, what, uh, Heather? Um, so uh, when I came into this thing, I was like, I'm never going to get through this, and I completely flipped. But ah. I'm also now not very familiar with it. So right. I want to learn more about okay. what's going forward. Got, Got it. Got it. Because my initial thing was, I'm never going to go to cruise, and now I'm like, oh my God, why am I not doing cruises? Right, <laughs> right, right. So what's the plan for, you know, um, learning about and, and being ready to market and sell cruises. Yeah, I'm right. So there's all sorts of training, there's LEAP programs, there's a you know, whole variety of things that would be out there. That would be a good one. Yeah, Amanda. I would have to do this to have my process like really get my why I believe what is virtuoso scripted and, and have, have all the forms, the call checklist. I, I right. All, that in place. all this back of the house stuff. Okay. And making myself have the discipline not to get distracted right. by you know, life and, and business. No right. And the holidays coming up. And the holidays coming yeah. up and all the rest of it. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you're heading into a busy time of the year too. Mm -hmm. Which is why give yourself, you know, the the time mm -hmm. to actually accomplish it. Maybe ninety days isn't going to be enough, but ninety days can be enough to get you well oh, down yeah. the road. Yeah to whatever your final goal might happen to be. Yeah, yeah. And, I, my, and the same thing, I, you know, I want to set up my office with the right equipment and the right, even the technology. Mm -hmm. So do I have that in place? Are the mail files there? Maybe I make a separate computer, and that's just mm -hmm. my, my work computer, and it doesn't mm -hmm. have all the personal stuff on it, because then I'll be distracted, I mean, remove mm -hmm. the distraction. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if I just get a Microsoft Surface or something, uh, you know, and right. then just use that for work, and then I won't be looking at my other accounts and right. other personal. So maybe just. So you can put together a, a plan. And I also will put a budget <coughs> again. Right. right. No, okay. So. I'll put a budget to myself right. because I can see myself overspending before I even have anything. So what's my goal not to go over in, mm -hmm. in my 30, mm -hmm. 60 days so that I'm setting myself Right, up right. To and if you, need to be, <coughs> if you need to be up and running in 30 days, <coughs> then you need to break that down into 30. That that first goal of setting up your physically setting up your office, you got some intense yeah. stuff to do over the next so few weeks. So if I'm planning for, to again, if I'm planning to go to Vegas, what's my budget going into next year, and how would I manage it yeah. myself mm -hmm. financially? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Chandra. Um, one thing I thought is I'm thinking kind of like Amanda as well, just. Really 
really honing in on that initial process so that I don't find myself getting <coughs> flustered, mm -hmm. even at the beginning. Mm -hmm. But um, but using a lot of the tools on virtuoso.com, looking to see which ones I can make that like, smooth out right. the path, mm -hmm. seeing how many to add to it. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So the sky's the limit. So there yeah. is an example of what we just did that's also in your binder. So okay. it's just a way that you can see how that worked. Okay, so that's available in there. I think we've given you six copies of the 306090. So, but you know, it may be best just to kind of bullet out some stuff initially before you start pl uh, plugging that in. But again, if you have a different tool that you like to use for your own goal setting and planning, it's, it's up to you, That's whatever, yeah. whatever tool works best for you, but we've given these as for something that you have to use. Okay, right. so we're doing this the next hour. Again, if you need to get up and go someplace to have quiet time and to focus on that, um, this is a real time for you to kind of right. zero right. in. Yeah, so it's just after two o'clock. Um, why don't we say like, 40, like 45 minutes? Yeah. 45 minutes, be back here. So be back here at a quarter to three. If you go anywhere. Yeah, if you if you're going somewhere. Uh, if you want to, yeah, I mean you could, as long as you're coming back with some some work done. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll be checking on you. Yeah, but the other room is quiet. You know, the other um, the, the dining room is is all quiet there as well.